Yeah, I would love to have you guys come back. Yes. First of all, thank you for donating to my interest fund. Yes. I appreciate yes. that. Yes. 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 You know, Jeannie, our resident Asian, is not here. Right. She's heartbroken right. because she's in Chicago. Because there can only be one or two Asians <laughs> on a set. <laughs> And you got us. Why are you oh, I know, I know the real. <laughs> it's totally not true, it's America. So funny, I can't. I can't. You guys have spent a lot of time playing husband and wife. Uh -huh. Are you starting to act like a married couple in real life? <laughs> they walked out here holding hands. I, I, know, made I saw that. Him, I made him hold my hand because we we're going right. down the stairs. Right. Uh, <laughs> I'm going, I'm going downstairs. Hold my hand, okay? <laughs> you know, yeah. Ken, you and I. Um, we started out originally as stand-ups, yes. and we had some, ooh, some gigs. I remember <laughs> BET. This man yeah. used to kill right. all the time oh in Comic View. That's right. What was your, like, what you say strangest stand-up gig? I think the strangest stand-up gig when I first moved out to L.A., it was New Year's Eve, 1999, right before Y2K, yeah. back in the day. Oh, yeah. I did oh, yeah. stand I was the opener for another stand-up comic in a dude's living room. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like, that was, Wait, like, what? my gig. Yeah. 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 It was, it wow. When you it was a paid gig. It? I mean, I didn't get paid as much as the headliner, but it was just, like, hey. it, was like a, it was like a Mr. Microphone with, like, a small amp, and we're just doing, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I bombed right near the dining room. It was really, it was so bad. Like, oh, I was my God. So you do what you do, but look at do you now, you though. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. yeah. I can do stand-up gigs in a bigger living room. Susie, <laughs> yeah. 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 what about you? Strangest gig. My strangest gig was uh, when I was uh, touring with the Second City. We did regular shows, like, in theaters and that kind of stuff, but once in a while, they would ask us to come in, like, in a hotel or a convention center and do a show, and they asked us to do um, a, basically a lunch for a group of counselors that were grieve, uh, that were counseling grieving people, people oh, who had just grief counselors. Grief counselors. Yeah. Wow! And we opened with the scene at a funeral. <gasps> wow. wow! And they loved it. No, they, they did. It. They went. But they had comedy in anything. It could have gone real right, bad, right. you guys. I'm sure you guys were yeah, very they, relieved. It could have. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, congratulations on the success of your guys' show. Yes. And Dr. Ken, your daughter Zoe is actually on the show now. Yeah. What is it like working with your daughter? I mean, it's, it's amazing for me as a father. Um, it, I, I don't know if she feels the same way anymore. I think she's tired of it. <laughs> I, she always wants to be in school. Yeah, she wants to be in school. She don't want to be on the show no more. I just wow. said, yeah, I just said, do you want to be on Dr. Ken again this week? She goes, do I have to? <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story, and then because she really wants to be in school, and mm -hmm. she's very responsible. That's a great thing. She has a great. It's a great. As a father, I'm proud. As a producer, she's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote this part for you. So ungrateful. Oh my God. So ungrateful. In this clip, let's take a look. Oh my God. It's Valentine's Day. It's the one day a year we focus on the people we love, and you know who agrees? Dad. <laughs> He wrote me the most beautiful poem. No, well, that's, that's private. Maybe it's bromidic, but I don't give an iota. When I'm with you, it's like Alka-Seltzer in a bottle of soda. <laughs> hey, I wrote that. What? For Emily. This was a gift for you. That my father conveniently decided was too much. <laughs> Very good. Oh, my God. Well, Ken and Susie, thank you so much for stopping by. You guys are always so much fun. <laughs> Be sure to watch Ken Jung and Susie Nakamura on Dr. Ken Fridays at 8.30 on ABC.